Greetings folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about interpolation with ArcGIS Online. It's really quite easy to do because ArcGIS Online has a number of intuitive analysis tools in it. And this example is going to focus on weather. So if I pull up my current weather stations, I'm going to go ahead and label those so you can see what we're dealing with. So we've got some t current temperatures, well about 10 minutes old, but this is all coming from current weather stations. It's a good example of the Internet of Things. I'm going to change the symbology to current temperature, but I don't want graduated symbol. I want graduated color. We're going to focus on Idaho and California just as an example. I'm going to pop up that legend here so you can see that, okay, I've got some warmer temperatures in the west central part, cooler temperatures in the southeast part of the state. If I go to the analysis tool set, I can see under Analyze Patterns, there's an interpolation. And I can say, okay, I want to interpolate on those weather stations. First of all, though, I've got to define a bounding box for my interpolation. So I'm going to go ahead and use my polygons for states. I'm going to go ahead and select and filter out Idaho in here. And when I do that, it's going to basically just show me Idaho. So now when I go back to my interpolate points, I can say, okay, I want those weather stations and I want to interpolate air current air temperature. And under options now, I can go ahead and say, I only want the state of Idaho. So I'm going to select the state's layer to be the bounding box for my interpolation. Obviously, the number of points that you have matters, the bounding box matters, but when I run that interpolation, there I get my surface. Now, let's say you're not interested in temperature, you're interested in elevation or uh, amount of litter or traffic or some other continuously varying set of data. Interpolation will work on that as well. And be critical of the data, as I always say on these videos. So explore it a bit when you're done. They are, this surface is highly dependent on the density and the distribution of these points. So if I had interpolated Idaho and also included a couple of the surrounding states, ditto for California, I can see the, the warmer temperatures right now are over in the east-south part of the state, the Mojave Desert, whereas in Idaho, the current warmest temperatures are actually in the west-central part of the state. But zooming in, notice that I've got an island of coolness there. It's only one weather station. So the point is, if I use some surrounding states, it could use that in the interpolation, and that goes for any data. Be careful of what you're doing. Know the limitations and the benefits of using the current data set that you're using, or data sets especially in this web-based GIS environment. Know who hosted the data set, where they hosted it from, how often it was updated, how rigorous are the data quality measures. Pay attention to that metadata. All right, so there is my interpolated data set for Idaho and my interpolated data set for California, all based on points, in this case weather data, but as you can see, quite intuitive and easy to do inside ArcGIS Online, where you've got a variety of analytical tools at your fingertips in the cloud. No software installs required. Thanks for watching.